Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a single column separated row into multiple rows. So what do I mean by this? Let's say for example we have a file here and then we've got these single column separated rows, CSV uh, rows. They are comma separated rows of values. So in this, this example we have an order number, a SKU, and a serial number. But you can see the SKU, we have an order number here and then the SKU and then the third item are serial numbers. These are all serial numbers going down. So this is how it would look uh, in Notepad. When you when we open, open it up in Notepad, it's a CSV file, comma separated value file. Now, if we open it up in Excel, this is what it would look like. Um, Excel would be smart enough to uh, look at those commas and put them into uh, columns. So we have our order number, our SKU, and our serial number. And of course, the other comma separated values are going to be additional serial numbers that go way down the line. Now, if we wanted to do some analysis with this file and put it into kind of a proper table format, we'd want it to look like this, right? We'd want it to kind of look like a proper table where we'd have our order number, we have our SKU, and we have our list of serial numbers. So basically, the first row is going to be our fields, and then any subsequent rows are our records. So you can see we have our first order number, A1234, and then we have our other one, which 1234, which had four serial numbers. The other one had uh, 13, uh, I believe, actually, uh, 10 serial numbers, right? And so this would be fairly easy with a small data set, and I'll show you how to do that with a small data set. But with a larger data set, we'd probably want to use something called Power Query. So let's go into Excel and see how that works. So here I am in Excel. I'm going to show two examples. One is a very simple example, and the other one would be a more complex example. So if we already have uh, something like this where we just have one row of values and we want to kind of make this into a proper column. So when you think about it, this was actually that CSV file, but we only had one record there. And so that's fairly easy to kind of transpose this. What you can do is just use the transpose feature. What you can do is uh, take this row. You can see that there's four serial numbers here for this particular uh, product number and it was under this product this order this product this SKU and it was under this order number so what we can do is you can, you can just take these three values control C to copy and go under here and go under home and go under the paste functions or the other the other paste kind of functions and select transpose and basically what we've what we've done is just transpose these from a horizontal view into a vertical view, basically uh, kind of transposing it. And all you need to do is just take this and double click it to bring it down. You can see it increments that, but we've got this little um, fill option here. And what we're going to say is we don't want to fill the series down. We don't, don't want to increment it. We just want to copy it. And so it'll copy all of that. And so we can just take this, select that, select these values here now, and just press delete and that's gone. Right? Now that's an easy way to do it if your record size is very small and we maybe only need to do one. However, let's say that for example we go into example two here and let's say that we have something that is very large and you can see how large or how many serial numbers show up here. I can just take that and then press control V and then the right arrow. It goes all the way up to column EHN and you can see down here there's a count of 3600, 3600. Uh, serial numbers. Let me go ahead and uh, go back control home. Let me go back here. So if we had that, a record like that, and you multiply that by maybe a hundred records like that or a thousand or maybe half a million records like that, you can see that the copy paste transpose is really not going to work out too well. And this is where the opportunity of using uh, Power Query comes into play. So, so Power Query is an add-on that you can put into Excel. It's part of the Excel Power BI type of suite of features. This is on Excel 2013, but I believe it's also available on Excel 2010. You can just power, Google search uh, Power Query add-on download. You can download it into Excel and then enable it. I'm not going to show that, but you can probably just search for that and you can get it onto your particular version of Excel if you're running 2010 or 2013 or 2010 or greater basically. And so once you downloaded it and enable it, and what you can do is probably bring it into Power Query and then do something called unpivot. So let me go ahead and show you how that's done. So basically I can just select anywhere within uh, this particular range of data and I, under the Power Query tab, I'm going to go ahead and get the data from the table. So what it's going to do, it's going to turn this into a table. I'm going to say my table has headers. It's going to select the range of my particular set of data. Excel is pretty smart enough to figure out it's A1 to EHN3. 
down here from row 1 to row 3 and column A to column EHN. So it's selected that. I'll click OK. And what it's going to do is going to bring up the Power Query Editor. And once that is up, it's going to be kind of a replica of the uh, worksheet that I had. Uh, it's not going to bring everything in because you can see that it, it says that um, there's basically a lot of columns and maybe reducing the number of columns will let you display it faster. But no, I want those columns in here. I don't really need to worry about displaying them. I know that it already has them in there. So what I need to do is I just need to select the first two columns that I want to do, keep. Select that column, press the shift key and select that column and then right click and select the unpivot other column. So basically what it's going to do, it's going to keep these columns, but it's going to bring the subsequent, the other columns uh, into the row format. So once I click on unpivot other columns, you'll see what it's doing. It's going through the process of looking at all those 3,600 plus columns and bring it in, into a proper table format. So we see our order number, A1234, this is going to go up to 3,600 and with its subsequent uh, 3600 serial numbers. Now all I need to do is remove some columns and add some names. So I'm gonna, I don't need this column anymore. I don't need this column here. So uh, basically I just want a three column table. I'll just select that, right click and go ahead and click remove. And then f under this column, these are serial numbers. I'll go ahead and double click that and just type serial number. All right. So once that's done, I can look and see, just to make sure before I close and load this, let me see if they've if got everything. Uh, it got my first order number which is a1234 and then uh, there's a lot of data under here so I'm gonna go ahead and click load more and let's see if it picked up the other one yep it picked up a1234 so that is okay then I'm gonna select close and load so basically what it does is it's gonna close the query editor and then load this into a new table on a new worksheet in Excel you can see that I have my files here if I go uh, control down arrow you can see it's picked up uh, it's picked up a1234 one, two, three, five, and the other values for A1234. So basically it's turned those comma separated value records into a proper table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.